you mentioned in popular discourse, um, a kind of a distorted use of different terms, and one of them is Marxism yeah. today. Is there something you could just speak to about, you know, increased use of that word, and is it misused? Does it concern you that there's a lot of actually young people that say they're sort of proudly Marxist? Yeah. Uh, are they misusing the term? They are, are definitely concerned? misusing the term if they don't understand the use value, exchange value dialectic I went through earlier. Uh, so, so if I could and they just, don't. If I could just pause, the idea of socialism and Marxism as used in sort of par popular lingo, yeah. it's basically, you know, um, a lot of people have a, a disproportionately hard life. Why can't we help them out? Why can't we be kind to our fellow man? Kind of that's and, that's a short embodiment of an idea as opposed to some super complicated, uh, elaborate model of the economy and politics and all yeah. that kind of stuff. I mean, we could do that by using the insights that come out of modern monetary theory, yeah. which I've confirmed just using my simple Minsky models. And that is that, to use the term, usually a feature, not a bug, a government running a deficit is a feature of a well-functioning, mixed fiat credit economy, not a bug. The government should normally run a deficit because that's how the government creates money. Now, because we've had this obsession from mainstream economists of running a surplus, which is what caused the Great Depression, Calvin Coolidge doing it for eight years, because of that obsession, we've cut back on social services, we've cut back on health, we've cut back on education, we've cut back on infrastructure. Now, all that stuff predominantly affects the poor because the rich can afford to buy it themselves. So if we had a son which realized the government should run a deficit, it's a feature, not a bug, of a fiat money system. And that's where Eon's made one mistake recently. Okay, we're not going back to fund first principles. That deficit enables you to provide an, enough of a decent standard of living for those who don't come out on top in the, the capitalist game. Mm -hmm. And with that, you wouldn't have the angst of the young people. Now, we still have the climate parameters within which we have to survive. But a decent level of government funding would mean the angst that you get where people say, I want to be a Marxist, and they've got a what I call a cardboard cutout version of Marx in their minds. That wouldn't be happening. So it's, it's potential to have a, a, a good society where the government runs a deficit that finances the, the needs of the poor, where the rich get enough to you know, indulge and take care of themselves. And you you don't get this breakdown. If if you if you try to cause the government running a surplus, then the burden of that is borne by the poor, middle class and poor, and that will lead to the angst we're now seeing. 